Consider the bees. They symbolize commitment, diligence, a sense of community. They're not working for themselves. They're working for the welfare and protection of their hives. There's so much to admire about these little creatures, to say nothing of the fact that they play an absolutely vital role in the world's food chain. If they don't survive, we don't survive. One day, an artist named Matthew Wiley found himself observing a bee that was struggling to live. He had an epiphany, and it changed his life, and it became his life's mission. He would use his artistic talent to help save the world's endangered honeybees. Nature has created a bond between humans and bees. They pollinate the fruits and vegetables we eat. Without them, the plants would die and humans would starve. At the time, Wiley was a New York-based muralist who painted murals for the National Basketball Association, restaurants, and commercial customers. In 2015, he picked up his brushes and began painting bees. In November 2020, his project called The Good of the Hive came to the Children's Hands-On Museum in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Yeah, it's called The Good of the Hive, and I am hand-painting. It's based on my personal commitment to hand-paint 50,000 individual honeybees in murals around the world. This is the 30th project in the series. Um, I've painted everywhere from LaBelle, Florida was the first project to um, Lyons, Nebraska, San Diego, New York City. I painted at the, the Great Ape House at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. Um, and then we just went international. I was in the UK a few weeks ago painting at an all girls school in High Wycombe in England. And um, so, yeah, the idea is for me is really the metaphor of the bee to her hive. It's us to our world or us to our community. Um, we are very out of balance right now with that and the idea of painting the entire world the, into a healthy hive of bees, which is 50,000, that's where the number comes from, um, is my mission, you know, and to get people curious about this planet we live on instead of thinking that we're separate from everything going on with it. Matt says what's happening to the honeybees and other pollinators like butterflies is a human problem. We humans, to a large extent, are the problem. Overuse and misuse of pesticides and herbicides, industrial scale farming methods, the cultivation of large monocrops, loss of habitat and food sources for bees and other pollinators, and climate change are all contributing to a massive die-off. The good news is, if we caused it, we can fix it. Every time Wiley picks up his brushes and starts a new project, every bee he paints, every media interview he does, every school child who studies bees and is inspired because of this, every post on social media and every YouTube video brings more and more awareness and touches more and more lives of people who never really gave much thought to bees or what we can do and must do to help protect them. Meeting a person like Matt Wiley, hearing his story and becoming part of his quest proves that travel is one of the few things we can do that will make our lives richer and the world a better place. For time to travel, this is Phil Dean.